actual story. Um, get this guy a little more depressive here. <clears throat> yeah, it was just kind of like that. And then uh, he was asking, like, he kind of made a point. He was like, did you, did you like, not fit in? And I was like, oh, no, I thought I did, maybe. And I thought about it more. I was like, maybe I didn't. You know, like, I just feel like I never found my niche. My whatever you want to, is that what it's called? A niche? Yeah. 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 Like I tried out for the basketball team freshman year and just kind of like, like the crowd. Yeah. The area. Yeah. Like I just, I tried out the basketball team cause I played in middle school. Didn't really like, didn't make the team. So I was like, ah, fuck that. And then really the only other fucking thing that was going on was fucking band. There yeah. was no other sports. I didn't like playing football. I didn't like playing baseball, whatever the fuck. Didn't even feel like trying out for those fucking teams. Didn't, I think, I don't even think I did track. No, I didn't. didn't. I don't know why I should have hindsight, hindsight 2020, right? Yeah. But I never found my niche. I just had the fucking band, which was fucking terrible, which was a terrible, like it was a cult within the cult. Yeah, It was a cult within the cult and it was like not stress relief. It was just more stressful and I didn't like super enjoy it. I kind of just got ling- like I went to sign up for Demi day one and they were like, Oh, uh, captain lamb. That was his fucking name. Yeah. He came up. He's like, Hey, you play an instrument. I was like, I play trumpet. Come over here. We're join the band. I was like, all right, I guess I'm joining. The, I'm eighth grader, right? Like fucking sure. I guess I have to. Right? I'm in military school. This guy's telling me what I have to do. I yeah. start doing the thing. He tells it's something a dog too. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah right. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do that thing. So, so anyways, like I didn't really like. I didn't feel like I really fit in anywhere until, like, I had fucking ROTC or the color guard or whatever. But that was just a fucking another prime example of the fucking Bohannon, and the fucking statutory rape shit. Like being around that con constantly because now not only am i around it in the school is now i'm part of a four-person team with dom who has that going on right now like in the team like there is that constantly watching that with uh what's her face yeah yes, yes. yeah yeah with what's her face and like fucking b bitch whatever yeah yeah walk constantly around that now now not only where i thought was like if i want to say fucking safe space or whatever but what i thought was something i enjoyed away from the school and all the other bullshit is now I'm around that constantly. So that was, I feel like another part, like just like being around that and then like not having anything else. Cause when you stop enjoying that because of the drama that's going on with that, like, what do you, what do you do? What do you find? Right? Like if, you, if that was the one thing you found, like, Hey, I enjoy doing this. I like doing this. And now that thing you enjoy doing is no longer enjoyable for you. And you can't go back to, and now you're just in a in a place that's not even really enjoyable in the first place because it's, it's fucking military school. Let's be real, as yeah. a sophomore, yeah. Like, and you don't really fit in. You're a fuckface. Like, you're an asshole. <clears throat> like, you're Excuse not. Me. I wasn't a very nice fucking high school or freshman or sophomore. Like, <laughs> you know what? Well, and then that's fucking like I don't know, man. Well, so, okay, so so let's talk about like the like the pressure, right? And the, yeah. the, the social pressure. I, now, granted, you went to a normal high school. You went to normal high school, so maybe you guys can speak to this. But like at Nimi, I felt like there was, I feel like there's a pressure of this in high school anyway. But at Nimi, there was a yeah yeah okay yeah. I think I know where you're going with this. Sorry, I'm gonna fucking yeah. interrupt you. Social pressure. Hey, first academic pressure and social pressure. Yeah. So the social pressure of always being around, like the people who were there who wanted to go there because they wanted to do something way later on and we talked about this i don't remember what time a way long time ago we were doing some fun things in the apartment yeah, yes, we, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. we're talking about that it was the being around the culture of kids who grew up with a probably money, a lot of money and b with parents that were fucking like you're gonna be a fucking this kind of person a fucking mm, doctor lawyer doctor, soldier, lawyer, and, soldier. Uh, you're gonna be whatever officer, officer. Yeah. you're gonna be that and being constantly being around that where kids like 15, 14 years old where I'm like, oh yeah, I was fucking skateboarding and not doing my homework in middle school to talking with kids that were like, oh yeah, I was in prep school. My parents had me private tutors and shit. I played the violin master, like like that, those kids. And then being around the social pressure of being like, oh, I'm not, I don't fit in with those kids. Yeah. Right. I don't fit in with that. I fit in with the fuck ups. Like I now labeled myself as a fuck up because I don't right. fit in with the kids that actually aspire to and be And then you start getting your grades back lawyers. and you're like, shit, yeah, maybe then, I am a fuck up. Right. And then because of the academic pressure, like you're like, okay, I'm just not, I don't have the structure that I thought I needed to like do well in school. And that just wasn't there, I guess, maybe mentally. I don't know. I could, yeah. probably could have done better if I did my homework. I just didn't do my homework because I don't know why. Just didn't. I was fucking lazy. Because you were a kid. Yeah. I was fucking 14 years old. Just didn't do my homework and shit. So... Now I'm getting the grades back. We're like, oh, I'm fucking up. Yeah. And now that's also affecting that I can't enjoy like ROTC and doing color guard and those like and like. Because you need shit. those grades need to, to be grades a part of it. To be part of the team. To go anywhere. Right. Because if you're on academic probation, which I was, you can't go anywhere. Right. Like you're locked. Now you're, con- now only because your grades suffered, now you're confined to your fucking room. You can't leave 
the fucking school at all to go anywhere. You can't go yeah. off base you at can't, all. You can't leave because campus you're on at all. academic probation. Now you're confined to that fucking shitty place that you and already even hate. the fun things on campus you can't do. Yeah, I if, mean, I, if I remember that right. Yeah, you couldn't go to the PX. You couldn't yeah. go to like to the fucking fun part of the PX. The game room, the game room, like you couldn't do any of that. Yeah. And if you got caught there, you got even more in trouble. So it was like basically, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. it was it was a down, it was a never, it was a spiral that you couldn't get out of because if you fucked up again, you wouldn't just go to a different spiral. You would just keep going down the fucking spiral. Like you would just constantly just fuck that. And I think at one point I just fucking said, "Fuck it, I'm not going to class anymore." And I just slept in, didn't go to fucking class. I went to like probably two of my fucking seven classes during the day. Yeah, just depressed as fuck in my room, just sleeping all the time. And then I remember at one point, uh, the, the commandant, I remember his name. Not the Jeracy. Not, not Jeracy. McGacken. Uh, the old white dude. McGacken. McGacken, yeah. He actually, my parents came down and we had a meeting with me, my parents, and McGacken. And he was like, hey, so what's going on, dude? And I was like, oh, no, no, I just fucking suck at school, I guess, or whatever. And I, no, I'm a kid. I don't fucking tell him. I don't think about the problems as they're happening. I don't yeah. think like those are issues. So I'm like, I don't know. I just don't think I'm motivated enough or whatever. I'm blaming myself now because yeah. I don't think about outside effects. Yeah. So now I'm blaming myself for all these things that are happening to, to me that I have control over, but like, I just like, oh, I'm fucking 14, 15 years old. I don't give a fuck, yeah. right? So we have a meeting. My parents are like, okay, well, it's getting fucking expensive because you lost your scholarship now because now you're on academic probation. The legislative scholarship, right? Yeah, yeah. so yeah. now I've lost the scholarship, so now they're paying full price for me to go there, which is fucking expensive. Expensive as shit. It's college. Yeah, it's college. Expensive as shit. And so my parents are like, well, buff, find a way to keep you here if you want to stay here. So now I'm like, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll give it another shot. And then, like, I just... Obviously, now I'm thinking about, okay, well, now I feel guilty because my parents are spending a fuckload of money on me to fucking be here and exuberant. fuck up. Exuberant amount of money to be here and fuck up. So, at the end of the day, like, I remember specifically, I just stopped going to class one day. Like, I just didn't go to class again. And then, like, I look up... Or, no, it was a day I did go to class. I went all those things. Um, and I don't remember why, but I went on my computer when I got back to my room, like, during study hour or whatever the fuck. Yeah. And then I remember whatever, whatever fucking page we had that showed our demerits and shit, bro, I had so many fucking tours and demerits for skipping class because it was a 721 every time you skipped the class. Yep. Every time. So I had like an exuberant amount, like 200 something demerits <laughs> and like 100 something tours. And I was like, there's no way fucking out of this oh, hole. Oh, you're bringing back memories, dog. Yeah. Fuck. And I was, so, oh yeah, talk about corporal punishment. So yeah, so if you get tours and demerits, every tour is an hour walking around in the fucking sun in your fucking long sleeve class uniform with a rifle. That's what you have to do, right? And so as a 15-year-old, I'm like, I see 100 of those, and then every three demerits is one tour, right? Something like that? Back then, yeah. Yeah, because 721, yeah. seven, yeah. So yeah. every three demerits was a fucking tour. So not only did I have the 100-something hours of fucking tours that I owed now, I now have the fucking 200-something demerits. So that's like fucking... Which was a, which was a point system that based... Because you, um, you had grades like an A through F scale, and so the amount... The more demerits you had, the worse it was, and then so you had like zero to like 15 or whatever 20 or whatever it was a fucking a and then 20 to whatever's a b blah, 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 and just goes all the way down to yeah. f and so, a d and an f and that thing was the probation right it was yeah but academic it was, probation but it wasn't you didn't get demerits for the grades you got demerits for skipping class and then your room being under well, it, what was shit. it called disciplinary probation disciplinary probation yeah so not only would i get would i've been on disciplinary probation you're an academic um, as well yeah i'm on academic as well and I just didn't give a fuck about the tours because there was no way out of that tour hole because every time I'd clean my room, guess who fucking made it dirty? And I got a 412 <laughs> every time they did a room inspection. Right? Uh, so you're like, fuck it. I'm doing tours every weekend now. I can't hang out with anybody because I'm having to fucking do tours because fuckface can't fucking do his laundry. And so to explain that as well, so we, you barely have any free time during the weekend and your guaranteed free time during the weekend is from like 12 to like 6-ish. Yeah. And... So that's when you hang out, you go off post, you do whatever. But then there's also some time, like, re prevented that you didn't have any, like, events going on. You also had time from, like, 7.30 to, like, 10 or 11-ish. But, but if you had tours, like you're saying, every hour, you're, you're literally marching those off. So I think the max you could do in a weekend, unless you were cool with some of the people and they let you, like, do it after hours and like that. Like, I had to at one point. Um, the max that you could do, you did, like, Fuck, you did three Friday night. You three could do, study tours. Yeah, do three study yeah, tours. Friday night. And Friday then night. five during the day on Saturday. So that's eight. Three more at night, Saturday. So that's 11. Five more on Sundays. So that's 16. And then if you wanted, if you were able to do more Sunday night, normally you couldn't. But if you wanted to do more, you could do 19. So what, let's just round it up, right? So say you do 20 a weekend. 
you have let's just round yours down and say you had two hundred tours. Yeah. Right. Is that realistic? Yeah, it's probably realistic. Yeah, so 200 to. tours. That means you have 10 weeks. That's provided you never get in trouble again. So 200, you have 10 weeks to march all of these off and you'll be done. But then there's only 16 weeks in a semester. So you only have six weekends of free time, if that. But then realistically, you have breaks and you have like stuff like that. Yeah. So you had two weekends out of the semester to yourself if you were lucky, but then right. you kept so, getting in trouble. You're right, yeah. So a sick 15, 16 year old is doing this math in his head, like, okay, I'm fucked. <laughs> like, yeah. there's, I have dug this hole so fucking deep when I could have stopped digging, but I was like, nah, that's not a problem. I'm going to just keep fucking digging this hole. Yeah. And I was at the end of the day, I was like, fuck it. I'm done. Like, I called my mom and I was like, take me home. I quit. I'm done. I yeah. don't want to be here. And I think that was like probably the first and last time I think I quit something. And it has fucking haunted me ever since. Really? Well, yeah. Because I, I, like when you think about it, like every culture that I've been around since then is like you don't fucking quit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Everything I want to be a part of that I am a part of, like fire department, you can't just fucking quit if you're in a fire. You can't be like, I'm done with this <laughs> and walk out. You can't just do that. Holy shit. It's yeah. hot. You yeah. Right like, hey, <laughs> you can't just turn around and be like, hey, I'm leaving. Good luck. I quit. You can't do that shit, right? And I've, you know, managed to like, so it could be a good or bad thing because now I'm like haunted by fucking quitting because all I, I do for the longest time and still I feel like I should have fucking stayed in me and just stuck it out. If I had to do an extra year of college I, or high school for my senior year, I should have just said fuck it and done it. Like I remember at one point I talked to Dom when he fucking left our senior year because he was going to have to get held over back. Cause, yeah, he was going to be a super senior. Yeah, because he was going to be a super senior. We were getting pounded by, by math. Yeah. Yeah. Pounded. pounded. <laughs> yes. No. No. Yeah. I say that very specifically. We were okay, to put in perspective. Me and this poor guy, we had to do summer school every year of high school just to keep up with our graduation path. And then our last year of high school, he left after the first semester of senior year. But I had to do it both semesters. Where both semesters of high school, I was taking two math classes. I was taking the math class that I failed and the math class you had to pass to do the next math class so I could graduate on time. So I'm effectively trying to relearn, which I never did. And then I was trying to do this whole year's worth of bridging and catching up to geometry, which I had no idea how to do. Yeah. Like, it got so bad because you needed a D to it pass. shapes, dog. No, it's not. The no, circle goes what? into the square hole. Like, no. how hard is this? No, no, because I remember. Shapes. No, I remember. Part, a big reason why I couldn't I couldn't do math because I was like it was half I'm dumb and half I didn't want to pay attention, and the reason I didn't want to pay attention is because like there were it was like a writing class geometry, it was it was like it, there was like these specific phrases that you had to remember in these math math equations that you had to write in so it was like blank does blank if and I don't know why I only remember this one it's like if and only if blank then blank therefore blank does blank and I'm over here like. Stop! <laughs> yeah, I couldn't figure it out. And it got so bad that to keep my fucking 60%, I remember I would like, I'd be in this math class, or uh, this math teacher's office every morning making sure I got 100s on the fucking, um, on the homeworks. So it would bring like, in two weeks, it would bring up like my 60 to a 65, right? Or a 66. Yeah. I would bomb the test, like get like a 30 on the test. Bring it all the way down to a 61, 60.5, and just a rinse and repeat. Oh, you're bringing back memories. Anyway. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, and then, like, yeah, you're in math class. Like, we had Pat Pattinson, and, like, you'd be in there fucking learning or, like, not paying attention or whatever the fuck you're doing, sleeping because you're sleep deprived. Yeah. And then, like, you're, he's doing a bunch of numbers on the board, and he's like, okay, everyone got that? Okay, no questions? Cool. Do whatever. Yeah. And you're like, I. Don't ask questions. <laughs> I don't want to be the one to ask a question. Yeah. I don't want to be the stupid one. Yeah. And everyone does that. I'm sure in every high school. Like, you know, you don't want to be the person that's like, I have a question. Because yeah. then now, like, you're holding everyone else up or whatever the fuck. So you just don't ask questions. So now you're just fucking totally lost. And you do that every fucking time you have a class. It eventually adds up to, like, you, when you get to the test, you're like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. You know, you try to do the test and you're like, I fucking quit. And then from that, instead of, instead of going to fucking Patterson, going to fucking study room, or going to a teacher and be like, hey, I fucking need help. I need help with these fucking questions. I need yeah. help with this. I am not understanding it. I has been zooming past me for the fucking so long. Instead of doing that, and this is the spiral I'm talking about, like as a high schooler, like I just put myself in, which is what he described it as 
It's, he said it's oxymoron. They have a major depression uh, episodes. There's mild major depression episode, uh, <laughs> may, uh, like uh, medium, and then a fucking uh, severe. Right? There's three of those. And so, like, instead of like, like, oh, okay, I'm a high schooler, but I'm in a, I'm in a mild major depression episode. I should fucking get help with this. You just spiral and you go down to the medium, and then you go down to the severe. Where like you're like, okay, I don't understand the math now, so I'm just not gonna go to class because I don't get it. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Exactly I don't how understand. It is. So I'm not gonna go. Or like you go to a fucking sick call and you're like, oh, I'm fucking sick or whatever. You malinger, right? Yeah. And I malingered a lot too. I was like, oh, I'm fucking sick, so I can have an excuse not to get demerits to go not go to class, you know? So I wouldn't get the, you know, it was a bad process. I was working harder not to fucking go to class than I was actually <laughs> just to go to class and get help. Yeah. But yeah, that's the spiral a 15, 16 year old head goes into where you're like, fuck it. Like, if I'm not, this is making my life harder, so I'm just not gonna go. Yeah, big facts. Yeah, and it was like a lot of my class, like Spanish too. I was like, I don't fucking understand that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what was that part in the Batman? What? I'm the only one who knows this between L and La. Yeah. World's greatest detective. Doesn't know Spanish. <laughs> yeah. No, really, dude. I was like, I don't fucking understand that shit. I think like one of the only classes I went to was English. Yeah. Because I understood, I knew how to write a fucking essay. <laughs> I speak it. Yeah, I speak fucking English. I understand that. Like, I understood yeah. English pretty decently. I wasn't the best writer, but I passed that fucking class. Well, and so you, I'm, I'm not going to harp on it because you, I mean, you perfectly encapsulated what it was like academically there. Yeah, and that's like for me, and I'm fucking dumb, right? So I put hot things on cold things for a living, guys. <laughs> so, anyways, but yeah, like, so, like, just put cold things on your, hot your things. spirals. Yeah, I caught that. I didn't want to correct him. Huh? You put, you put cold, cold things, things on hot things. See, hot example A. <laughs> example A. I put cold things on hot things and dry things on wet things. Okay? Wet things on dry things. No. no. And dry things on wet things. Like someone's bleeding to death. Oh, oh, oh. I was in the water. Anyways. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so, but yeah, like, and then you spiral down. I've said this like five times, and you're just like, fuck it. I don't want to go to class anymore. And then at the point, you're like, oh, just keep spiraling. Instead of, instead of saying at that meeting, like, hey, I fucking need help. Yeah. Like, I am a high schooler but I don't understand depression right I just think yeah. I'm a fuck up compared to everybody else around me cause they're fucking all A plus stars right at least, at least you think they are I think they are right cause that's they're, a big problem cause too. A cause A in my mind I have now put them on a pedestal above me because they came from somewhere else because they have bigger aspirations than me I'm like I don't know what the fuck I wanna do but these fucking kids do yeah they come from money they have fucking whatever the fuck dude yeah Right, and now I put them on a pedestal. I'm like, I can't hang out with them because I think they're better than me, or whatever. So now I'm gonna either just fucking ignore them, or now I'm gonna fucking just be an asshole. Well, and that leads perfectly into the social aspect. And so again, you guys can definitely speak from a public high school as well. Yeah. But for me, um, I remember being there, and like socially speaking, I feel like it's everywhere in high school, but especially at Nimi, it was so like amplified i guess like the idea that you had to date someone or you had to do something socially or you had to be like socially accepted by doing you know, the whatever right and, it, and we brought this up briefly when riley was in here where it was like for the for the younger guys right we're freshmen yeah. sophomore in high school we have we have a crush on whoever we have a crush on we're into whoever we're into and you shoot shit and you're like well what about her or her or her and it's like oh well She's dating this college guy. She's dating that college guy. Oh, she's dating this athlete. She's dating this baseball player. It's And then it's like, bro, wh- how are we supposed to compete? Right. And there's no competing. <laughs> there is no competing. Because A, now you play. So then you feel uh, lesser. Yeah. A, you play a disproportionate amount of male versus female. There's already like fucking, what was the ratio? Three to one? No, to no, one, no, 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 no. When we, no. Our freshman year, it was one to ten. One to ten. Yeah. For so, every female, there was ten males, and it got better. By the time I left college, it was one to seven. But oh, even then, it's ridiculous. So yeah, so already disproportionate. A. Oh yeah. And B, now you're competing. Okay, we've we've hashed this a thousand times. But the point being, like, yeah, now the social aspect of it. You put the social aspect where, like, you feel like you can't reach out to a lot of friends because Dom's struggling. Dom was probably my close. My it is my closest friend, yeah. Nimi, and I was like, I can't go to him because he's fucking stupid too. <laughs> Like Poor I, guy. well, no, like I, like he's struggling in school too. Like he's not going to be in any fucking help. He's stressed about other shit too with fucking both, whatever that, that fucking yeah. love triangle yeah, yeah, that was yeah, going yeah, on yeah, there. Yeah. Like I'm not fucking touching going near that shit. Right. So now I can't go to that safe space because there's that fucking triangle going on there. I'm like, I'm out on that. I'm fucking done with that because they're fucking doing their own fucking stupid shit. And then like, I can't, I don't feel, I feel like I can't go to uh, what's his face. Um, who the fuck was our TLA for HQ? Uh, Valenzuela. Valenzuela. Because he's a fucking asshole. He was an idiot. He dude. was an idiot and he was an asshole. And I feel like I couldn't. So anyways, the TLAs, Valenzuela, are supposed to be the adults in charge of the children. 
like the one adult in charge of the troop, and they're supposed to be the person you go for. Like, and hey, I and, need an adult help. And half more than half of them, especially are fucking, stupid. especially in high school, they were so inept with dealing with kids. Yeah, so like, inept. so I feel like I can't go to him because he's a no fucking help. And so instead of at the meeting being like, hey, I need fucking help. I need something. I need a fucking tutor. I need some kind of fucking shit. I can't get a tutor, by the way, because my parents can't afford it. Other kids can who are yep. struggling because their parents can afford a fucking tutor because they came from fucking money, which just happens a lot in me. But like, I'm like, okay, so I just have to fucking suffer in silence. I just have to suffer by myself. And I got to the point where I was like, fuck it. I can't yep. do it. I can't as a high schooler. I don't have to deal with this. I have an out. I can just say I'm done. And that's what I did. I was like, I'm fucking done. So back to the point where I was like in high school at Volcano Vista where I was like, this is what high school is supposed to be. This is fun. My grades were awesome. <laughs> right? That was like the biggest temptation. Because, hey, at that, and I got a fucking fresh start. I Granted, I had to take two online classes every semester. Not that I was taking just to catch back up of all the math right. classes I failed. Yeah. And it was just math. It was just math that I was struggling with in high school. And then I got to the thing and they're like, okay, well, we're going to start you here and you're just going to have to catch up. Like you're going to have to take online classes over the summer. And I was like, fuck it. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. Let's do it. So anyways, I understood it. I was like, oh, okay, this makes sense. And I did stellar because I got a fresh slate. None of my fucking grades transferred over. Thank God. They didn't pull my grades. They'd be like, well, you're starting here. Oh, no, they did. They did. All my grades transferred over. So I had all fucking D's, C's, and F's in fucking when I went to Volcano. But there's no points in their system. So the minute I did an assignment and I got 100 on it, straight up. No shit. Yeah. And so it got to the point in the math class where I was doing so well because I was fucking understanding it. And I felt like I wasn't stupid for asking a good question. Well, even at NIMI, though, they, 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 I mean, they used to brag about it, especially when they were talking to like the high school parents. Like yeah. The college math is at collegiate level. It is. And they teach it that way. Yeah. And it's super hard. Yeah, they te they're teaching high schoolers college math in a college way where they're like, hey, this is how you do this. This is how you do that. Just like college. And I know this because I went to college and flunked out. Um, but yeah, I went to college and that's how they teach fucking college math. Like that's ex it's the exact same. You should knew the fucking same thing. Like you don't have a you, kind of a UNM experience. Not really. Yeah. Yeah. But like, trying to get being in a UNM college class and learning from that math class. That's exactly how they taught it in to a freshman in high school. Yeah. And you're like, I understand why I got it more at public school. Yeah, because it just makes fucking sense. Anyway, so anytime I did a fucking assignment, I got morale boosted because my now grade is fucking went from an F to a fucking B or whatever because I got 100 points in the system that I have zero points in now. Yeah, I have zero points in the system. I just have a letter grade. So anytime I did an assignment, got 100 on it, my grade just went up. And it got to the point where she's like, hey, I'm going to hold on to these like five extra credit assignments because like if I put in any more, it's just not going to do anything. So if you do bad in the test, whatever, I'll just put in this extra credit so your grade can get boosted up to whatever, back to an A. Yeah. And that was most of my classes. And that's how kind of fucking high school went after that. And it was like, I found this fucking idiot and all the other idiots. And I was like, oh, I understand these people. They're stupid like me. <laughs> right? I don't know what you're talking about, man. Medically, I'm solid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyways, back to reality. Um <laughs> Yeah, like you know, I found like the I found the niche. So I you, found the niche of you people. You found your group of people. Yeah, like I already had friends back from when I was in middle school that I kind of hung out with, like here and there. And then I found new people. I was like, oh, I fit in well with these guys. Let's fucking hang out with these guys. And I don't do everything these guys do. I'm not into fucking motorbikes and fucking bicycles and all that Mot cool guy shit. Motorbikes. Sorry, I'm on a roll. Europe dude. now. Yeah, I'm not into fucking dirt bikes and shit and all the fucking truck shit and dip and spit and fucking going hunting and shit like that. I'm not into that as much as these guys are. These guys are really into it, and that's their thing. So they had the, like the niche within the niche. In class, we hung out. I hung out with them. And then when out of class, they fucking did their little fucking dip and spin and drinking shit in their El Camino, right? No, he blew that one up, I think, at the time. But we were still getting <laughs> drunk in the parking lot. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I had another niche to hang out with after that out of class. You know, like I had shit and I had friends and I had stuff to do. Like I got really into fucking fighting sports in high school. I didn't have that option at NIMI. Like I think I went to like, they had like, this was already way late in the game. They started a fucking judo class at NIMI. Yeah. Like our sophomore year. But it was like already at the point where I was like... Oh, about to head out anyway. I was about to leave anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it, you know? Well, I'm glad you found a route. Like a place to start. Yeah. So that's kind of like that therapy. That's kind of like now I've been going on in my head pretty much most of the day today since after that. It's just like that's kind of the route of where things are happening. So now we need to figure out how to kind of like reprogram that where it's like, hey... This is where you spiraled. This is what you could have done to not spiral. And let's learn from that kind of thing. Yeah. You know? But like a lot of the roots from Nimi, and I, I, I hate to put the blame just like, oh, it's all fucking Nimi's fault. Like, no, I could have made better decisions. 100%.
like a better, better decision to the point like where I've been trying to get to the fucking point. Sorry, I go off track a lot. Where like at the end of high school, I even texted Dom and I was like, hey Dom, you want to go back to Nimi and finish junior and do, do junior college there? Also wish I would have done that. But I was like, ah, fuck it. Dom was like, I'm not going to do it. I don't want to go to college. I was like, okay, Dom's not going to college. And I was like, well, I'm fucking signing up for UNM right now. I fucking should have done was I should have fucking applied to, to fucking NIMI and gone to junior college at NIMI. Because when I went to UNM, there's no fucking structure, yeah. right? And that's something I needed and I didn't understand at the time that I just personally need structure. And that's not a bad thing. I just no. need the fucking structure. Like it's I, your personality. Like the, like the fire department, like the, like everything else, I just need fucking structure. I just need to have structure in my life so that way I don't fucking be like, I can do whatever. No, no, no. That's not good for me. <laughs> no, that's not good for me. If you give me the fucking whole leash and you're like, you can do whatever you want. I don't want that. No. Like, yeah, okay, I can do whatever I want, but like, let's pick something and then keep me in the fucking lanes. Yeah. Keep me in the fucking cage, dude. Like, hey, yeah. you can do whatever you want. In this fucking cage, you <laughs> like like a dog. You can do whatever you want with all the toys and shit in this in this kennel. This kennel is where you stay, <laughs> and that's fine. I understand that, and I will excel. <laughs> I will I'll excel in that right. fucking kennel, dude, or whatever that fucking like that one lane on the road. You have to stay in that one lane. I'm like, okay, I can do that, and I can do that well. Yeah. And I'll be the fastest car in that fucking lane. 